welcome to part two of uh, obtaining your ham license. Uh, today is Saturday. Yesterday was the day I was supposed to go down uh, to the barbecue place in downtown Conway and link up with some members of the Faulkner County Amateur Radio Club, which I did. Uh, some good folks, had a good time, had a good meal, uh, and uh, I asked several questions. Here's how it went. Well, here we are at Smitty's Barbecue, folks, downtown Conway. Great barbecue, by the way, and I'm about to go inside and uh, link up with members of the Faulkner County Amateur Radio Club. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, of, the, of the club members. Okay, here we are with the club members, folks. We've got one over here in the corner that does not want to be filmed. That's fine. <laughs> Witness protection program and all that, you know, I suppose. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. And this gentleman here you'll be hearing from at a later date, we hope, right? We're going to be able to set up a time? Yeah, we're going to try to. We're going to try to set up a time, okay. And, uh, and this gentleman here, where did other gen who's this fellow? Where'd you come from? <laughs> you were here a minute ago. <laughs> and uh, this, this fellow over here works at the same place I do. What's your first name, sir? Gerald. Gerald. Yeah. Y'all take care. Roger. Roger. How about some first names here? Pat. Pat. Bill Phil never worked and never will. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this lovely lady over here? Dora Anna. I'm sorry? Dora Anna. It's are, are you related to this fellow here? Yeah. Is that right? Well, well she Texan. must have felt sorry for you, didn't she? She's a Texan. <laughs> two front names. <laughs> okay. And who we got over here? I'm Kelly. Kelly. Uh -huh. And Bob. And Bob. And of course we have Frankie, and who was you? Who were you again? I'm Will. Will, and uh, you know what this fellow over here? He doesn't. What was your name? First name? George. George, and Gary. Gary. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you letting me come down here. I just wanted to get you all on there, let them know that we do have a club in Faulkner County. About halfway through the meal, uh, one more club member arrived, and it turned out he's very important to me uh, in terms of uh, obtaining my. Technician class amateur radio license. I'd like you to meet him. Okay, here we have uh, club member Glenn, and uh, you're a volunteer examiner, right? Yes, I am. And you, you're for the club, right? I'm the, I'm the liaison for the Conway uh, testing team. Okay, do you go outside your area of Conway to test at times? We will, yes. And how long have you been a ham? Been a ham for 44 years. 44 years. And how long have you been a volunteer examiner? Since 1983. So you're the guy I'm probably going to have to go to to have my test given to me, right? I'm the one that schedules the tests in, in this area, in Conway and Faulkner County. And who administers those tests? We we also do. I'm the, the uh, uh, liaison for the team. I mean, yeah, yeah, but, but you, are you one of the actual... If I'm I walk into a building, I'll see your face and you'll hand me the test. This is I what will, I'm looking at. I will be the one that checks your ID and hands you the test and takes your money and... And uh, then later, after you've passed the test, I will process your paperwork and send it on to the uh, to the ARRL well, the, via the, to the, v, uh, the FCC. Does the club have, have anybody that does this who's a little better looking, or are you it? I'm about the best looking one of the bunch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Thank you, bud. <laughs> okay, here we have a, a couple of lingers, uh, hangers on here after the barbecue's been eaten. And uh, what was your first name again? Roger. Roger. How long have you been a ham? Oh, already 15, 16 years, 17, something like that. And how long have you been a member of the club? Same amount of time? Uh, about? Pretty close. Okay. You live here in Faulkner County? Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, yourself? I've uh, been licensed since the August of this year. August of this year? Yes. Oh, man, we're, we're buddies. <laughs> and what's your first name again? Pat. Pat. And, uh, uh, and this young fellow here? Yeah, I think you're better looking, Glenn, no doubt about it. <laughs> uh, Gerald, I've been a ham since uh, 97. 97. About 12 years. I'll tell you what, we're the only we're, we're the only newbies in the bunch here, aren't we? Well, this is, well how are they? You, you like belonging to the club? Uh, well, actually, so far. Yeah, yeah so far. Uh, this is an interesting bunch. Yeah. Well, I'm wanting to buy a, uh, I'm kind of an old-time guy. I want a tube uh, 
Initially, I was going to get a, a, a solid-state digital transceiver. And I, I'm kind of the old tube guy. I can't pull away from the tube business, you know. I, I just I know how to repair them if they go bad. There's a lot of tube sets that are still out there. Yeah, I know. I intend to get one. I want to. Right now, I'm looking at a, a Heathkit a HW101 uh, or an SB102. I really like those. Those are cool transceivers. I have one that my son's in possession of right now. It's a TS830S. Yeah. It's a. It's a. You got two finals in it. Yeah. Yeah. The hybrid type. Uh, the, the hybrid sets are nice. What kind of a uh, transceiver do you use? Well, I have two. I use a, most of them. I use a Kenwood TS2000, and I also have an old, an old Yaesu FT101E. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's an old. I think everybody's got that set. <laughs> Everybody has that yeah. set. I see. I see those everywhere. Yeah. What What kind did you get? Did you You get one yet? Well, actually, at uh, for two meters, I have a little uh -huh. Icom HD there, mm -hmm. and at home for the HF rig, I've got a uh, SB101 mm -hmm. kit that. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, it works pretty good, huh? It does. I was looking at one of those this morning on the internet, and I said that's kind of cool. Yeah. It did, uh, Set in the corner for years and years. Yeah, and, uh, that's good stuff. Been used, so we had, yeah. had to go through it and do that's the great. typical stuff you do to a machine that's been sitting for a while. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you much. Well, that's it for now. Part two has been accomplished. I've made contact with uh, a local amateur radio club uh, membership, and I found out exactly who the person is who's going to give me the test. And uh, next time, we'll have an interview with the president of that club. Until then, from the corner on the deck, this is John.